I'm a consultant for television networks, but I'm an expert at the Justice League. I work in live event operations, but I'm an expert at the 2012 Atlanta Braves. I'm a marketing director for a kid's television network, but I'm an expert at Golden Girls. All right, experts, welcome to the show. It's round one. Our game is played in four rounds. And as you know, in round one, you're going to answer 10 questions apiece. We will start with Ken, our Justice League expert. And I want to remind our viewers that you're an expert in the various Justice League in incarnations in the 1970s and the 1980s. Here's your first question, Ken. In what other comic book did the Justice League first appear in 1960? Brave and the Bold. Correct. What member of the Justice League invokes her powers by speaking backwards? Zatanna. Zatanna is right. What type of structure does the Justice League move their headquarters to after leaving the original location of their secret sanctuary in the early 70s? They move to a satellite. That's right. Three for three, we move to four. <laughs> Who was the narrator of the first season of Super Friends? Ted Knight. Ted Knight is correct. <laughs> Here's your fifth. What DC-wide crossover storyline resulted in the destruction of various parallel universes and the eventual end of the original Justice League of America series? The Crisis on Infinite Earths. That is correct. Five for five. I'm what Justice here. League hero <laughs> was created by a nuclear accident that fused high school student Ronnie Raymond with Nobel Prize winning physicist Martin Stein? Firestorm. Firestorm is right. What keyboard symbol can be found in place of the O in the proper spelling of the sentient computer villain Kilgore? Uh, the null sign? Is... It's the percentage sign. Oh. Question eight. What actor famous for playing Lurch on the Addams Family voiced Black Manta and Brainiac on Challenge of the Super Friends? Ted Cassidy. Ted Cassidy is right. What is God, the real name Lurch. of Justice League International member Blue Beetle? Ted Cord. Ted Cord is correct. This is your tenth question coming. You've missed one. What bumbling associate of Justice League International says in a 1988 issue, and trouble is my middle name. Well, actually, my middle name is Esplanade, but I've always been embarrassed by that. Booster Gold? I'm sorry, it's Nort. Spelled oh, okay. Gnort, but the G, G silent is silent. silent. Well, done. well done, Ken. <laughs> that oh. ten. Great job. We move now to you, Michael. Yeah, the category like... is the Golden Girls. You just heard Ted Knight's name mentioned, I, I too. I know. It's a tough act to follow. A golden know. guy. Uh, okay, so, uh, Michael, here we go. Question one. Give the last names of the four lead characters. Uh, Zbornak, Nyland, Devereaux, and Petrillo. Correct. Which of the four women owns the house the others move into? Uh, Blanche Devereaux. Correct. What retirement home was Sophia living in before it burned down? Shady Pines. That's right. What is the occupation of Chrissy, the much younger woman Dorothy's husband Stan left her for? I believe she's a flight attendant. I believe you're right. What word heard most often in Florida and Hawaii do the women use for their patio? The lanai. The lanai. <laughs> also on the love boat. Who plays <laughs> Sophia's mother in the season three episode Mother's Day? Uh, She's played by B. Arthur. She is played by B. Arthur. Which of the four women's husbands is never seen either in present day, in a dream, or in a flashback? Oh, gosh. Um, One out of four. Out of there. I think I will go with... Um, we need an answer. Rose. It is right. We got a correct <laughs> one. Question eight. What relation is Blanche to Lucas, the man Dorothy marries in season seven? I believe that is her... It's either her brother or her cousin. I'm going to say brother. It's uncle. Oh, it's another exactly. eating. We, yeah. we move to question nine. What right was knowledge. the real identity of Fritz Stickelmeyer, who taught high school in St. Olaf during World War II? The real what? I'm the sorry. real identity. Oh, gosh. I have no idea. I, I don't know. Oh, it's okay. It's Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Okay. He was on Golden Girls? He was, the yeah. I, I, the, I it, was, it, it was Sweeps. Oh, You're exactly okay. right. Question <laughs> 10. What is Sophia's most frequent nickname for Dorothy? Pussycat. That is right. 8 out of 10 as well. Well done, Michael. Donnie, we come to you now. The competition <laughs> is stiff, as you can tell. Your category, the 2012 Atlanta Braves. Here we go. What Brave retired at the end of the 2012 season after 19 seasons with the team? 
Larry Chipper Jones. That is correct. How many players hit 30 or more home runs for the Braves in 2012? Uh, zero. That's correct. Who hit the walk-off home run that clinched a playoff berth for the Braves in 2012? Ooh, good question. Jason Hayward? Freddie Freeman. Oh, okay. What new stadium were the Braves the first road team to play in, doing so on opening day in 2012? What is that stadium called? Uh, Marlin Stadium. <laughs> it's City Field. City Field. Oh, okay, yeah. The Mets. Last who, year. Who hit the ball that became the controversial infield fly out in the eighth inning of the Braves' wild card playoff game? Ooh. I'll say Dan Ugla. Can you turn around and show us the back of your jersey? Yes. The one that says Simmons? <laughs> yes, Andrelton Simmons is correct. Ah, where's the mirror? <laughs> Who led the team with a 1.01 ERA and 62 and, a, and two-thirds innings pitched? Um, Craig Kimbrell. That's correct. What was the biggest deficit the Braves overcame during the season, occurring during a July win against the Nationals? Um, six runs. It was nine runs. Wow. Better than you remember. Nice. Though he had over 700 plate appearances, what did center fielder Michael Bourne do only twice all season? Um, triples. Uh, ground into a double play. Wow. What, Donnie, was the longest game in number of innings the Braves played in 2012? 19 innings. 13 innings. Oh. And finally, to get you out of round one, how many games did the Braves win in 2012? Uh, 94. They won 94 games. You got four right. Your work's cut out for you, but it's a long game, Donnie. And That's we look forward to ago. round two. <laughs> uh, click here for my Amazon short stories on Kindle. Uh, flashback episodes about when I was a one-time Kenneth the Page at the Real Life 30 Rock. And click here for the next round.